Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I just got off of uh, the Grafted In Team Jesus site. We were watching videos together. And while we were watching one, Kathy's husband texted her a link to an important announcement. And um, I felt the need to get off and share it before I got too tired to uh to do so and I'm sorry about the fan blowing my air conditioner went out I guess <laughs> this whole place you know they do their best but they can't keep it all let's do that how about that we'll put it all over there okay anyway this is the this is uh, the news it's uh well we knew it was coming the peace deal or what the peace and security deal in Israel that they're doing the Trojan horse back deal with the United Allied States or whatever they are I think that is it anyway here on now the end begins website plus they found another one to corroborate it which I didn't catch the name of it I'm sorry but there are two sources putting it out the other one is in Israel from Israel the title is Jared Kushner. It's from Joel. They put the Joel or Joel, depending on how you pronounce it, from the Bible. Chapter 3. Jared Kushner makes shock announcement that Israel has agreed to the creation of a Palestinian state by, quote, process of division unquote of the land and what is the prophecy we know of that's probably from Joel 3 let me pull that up real quick we always want to tie everything into the Bible do we not as much as possible Joel 3 I know it um, Let's see, I can't talk a lot, so I'm just going to skim this in my mind and find. Oh, well, verse 2 says, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. This is the KJV. Verse 3, and they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for a harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. Um, he said, I will return your recompense upon your own head because you have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my goodly pleasant things. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians that ye might remove them far from their border. Um, beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. That's verse 10. I'm looking specifically for that verse about if you divide my land, I will divide yours. But I'm not sure. I'm going to have to Google it. So now I'm getting hot. I was just laying here listening. Now I'm hot. Okay, this is, it's not in here, but I would read Joel 3. That would be a good uh, one for you to read. I'm just going to say, um, if you divide my land, oh, there it is. I will just, ooh, my hands are itching all of a sudden. Okay, what does the Bible say? All right, here's one from Zechariah 12. It says, um, let 
Oh boy. That's tiny writing. The Bible in Zechariah 12 says God will destroy all nations that come against Jerusalem. Hundreds of Bible verses say Jerusalem belongs to the Jews. Even the Muslim Quran claims Israel belongs to the Jews, says Professor Nisan Dana. Quran 7 7 says God bequeathed the land of Israel to the Jews. They even know it. The Bible says God will send judgment on nations that tried to divide the land he gave to Israel. Genesis 12 3 says I will bless those who bless you and curse those who curse you. Obadiah 12 3 says for the day of the Lord is near upon the heathen. As thou hast done to Israel, it shall return upon your own head. Every American president, starting with President George H.W. Bush in 1991, have pressured Israel to divide and give up the land God gave them for peace. Dr. John McTernan wrote a book documenting 50 examples of God's judgment on America and other nations going against Israel. All right, I'll leave the link for this. And you can read it if you like. Let me get back to this important announcement. Okay, so uh, Jared Kushner makes shock announcement that Israel has agreed to the creation of a Palestinian state by process of division of the land. All right, quote, The president laid out his vision for peace in January this year, dot, dot, dot. And this is the first map ever agreed to by one of the parties publicly put out in a peace negotiation. I remember that map. I remember seeing them holding it up. We got Israel to agree to negotiate on the basis of the process of division. They agreed to the map. And agreed to move forward on a Palestinian state. This was a major breakthrough that changed the view of a lot of people in the region about Israel's seriousness to actually make concessions to resolve this long standing conflict, Kushner said, adding the countries in the region also questioned why the Palestinian Authority boycotted the economic conference in Bahrain. There is a generous offer of a state, state, of a state, state. Maybe that's a duplicate typo, huh? There is a generous offer of a state and an exchange of territories. And we offer the Palestinians a return to the table, unquote, he said. And I guess that was the president. That now was that Jared Kushner talking or the president? The president laid out his vision. Anyway, it's dated August seventeenth. Today is August seventeenth. It's eight fifty four p.m. right now. Let's see if there's any more down here. Nope. That's it so far. That's it so far. So, and then Dan from Grafted In Team Jesus, he had chimed in on all the earthquakes that took place. Uh, relatively, you know, larger numbers than the 1.9, 2.1, you know, like the other. Was it last week? North Carolina had a 5.1 or something. Okay, well, today there were some five-pointers. Wait a minute. What did you take? Oh, I think he got my hair bow. I had my hair tied back. Thief. I have a little thief in the house. Okay, well, I'm going to end this here. I'm going to plead the blood of Jesus over this video. It is prophecy coming to pass before our very eyes the words of the Bible jumping out in the news so I plead the blood of Jesus over this 
video and my computer and my internet connection and myself. And over each and every one of you and your devices and your internet connections. And maybe stay connected until we're out of here. And um, if y'all do enjoy chat rooms, you might want to check out Grafted in Team Jesus. Any of the videos I shared of theirs, click on the link, scroll down, and you can click on the link to their website. Scroll down and find out how to just get in the chat room. You just make yourself a name, join right in. And um, they try to run 24 7. Well, we have a lady on the team from Australia. So while they sleep, she's, she's doing it for them. And then Kathy and Dan take turns. And some t um, they told me I could if I wanted to. I really don't know how I could. I've, I already feel like I'm um, not putting enough time into this channel. But yet, at the same time, see, I'm getting stuff that I wouldn't have gotten otherwise. I did see some emails that look promising that I might make videos on in the morning. Okay? So, with that, I'm going to say bye for now, y'all. I love you all. And I pray for you. I say God bless each and every one of you and all your families. And may we be together soon. I just pray, oh God, that this be another sign that it's any minute. It's got to be. I mean, how long do you think he's going to wait? But he's God and he can do it however he wants. It may be September 1st. You know, we know fires of uh, destruction and fires of Holy Spirit revival. That's not the first group that's going to get revival. That's the second group that's left behind. So, and we'll be here probably leading it. <laughs> so, <laughs> amazing things will we do, the Bible says. Alright, I'll let you go with that and I'll talk to you later.